Dental anxiety is where you feel very nervous and scared of going to the dentist. Um, it is a real thing and it is a natural condition. So lots of people can be phobic of going to the dentist. So don't feel embarrassed or scared. Um, it's an actual condition and your dentist will know that um, as well. Lots of people are actually very anxious of going to the dentist. 36% of the UK population, not including Scotland, um, are very anxious and actually 12% are phobic. 100 million people in the US um, avoid going to the dentist because they are scared. There are lots of different causes of dental phobia and anxiety. It may well be traumatic past experiences, dental infections, a toothache, things actually hurting you in your mouth. Um, hearsay is what people have said, um, or experiences from when you're a child, certain sights and smells and things like that also trigger bad memories, sometimes of previous bad experiences. Um, it may also be other things like um, memories that you might have had with going with a special person or something, or you may just be scared of moving to a new dentist, perhaps you've been seeing this long, the same person or the same practice for a long time, you're very familiar with the way they work, and then going to a new place, it may make you very scared. I think in the past the industry had a um, image of creating fear in people and being a very scary environment um, and possibly in those days the technology that we have now wasn't, um, wasn't there, the knowledge that we have now, the anaesthetics that we have now and the techniques that we have now. Um, in this day and age dentistry is very accessible, there's lots of information about it, um, lots of dentists are very aware of dental anxieties and um, very sort of willing to give their time to give help to um, patients with problems, willing to talk to them. And oral hygiene and toothpaste and toothbrushes are so much better in this day and age. And the medications that we have are so much better to try and help people have a really good um, sort of oral hygiene. The common symptoms of dental phobia are things like a racing heartbeat, sweaty palms, feeling nauseous, feeling um, unwell, sometimes even dizzy, um, may have palpitations, feeling very hot, um, and certain fear symptoms. Sometimes the fear of not actually seeking advice from your dentist ends up um, causing more of a problem and making your actual dental problem worse. For example, if you've lost a filling and you're too scared to go to the dentist and you leave it for longer and longer, your filling may then develop into a more serious problem rather than if you were to seek advice a little bit sooner and um, have a simple filling done. So sometimes it's easier to go and see the dentist sooner rather than later for a quick fix rather than a bigger problem. Many people have a fear of being judged and told off or shouted at by their dentist for not taking care of their mouth. This is not the case. Your dentist is a health professional who is there to try and help you um, keep your oral hygiene at the best. So please don't be scared of things like that. Dentists are there to help you and educate you about your oral condition and help you um, get your teeth, in, teeth into a better um, place basically, have a nice and healthy mouth. Dentists don't actually want to take your teeth out or do root canals or do horrible nasty things to your teeth. Um, they would ideally like you to, they would like to help you um, sort of get rid of any dental disease, get rid of any problems that you have in your mouth so that your teeth don't hurt, you're able to chew your food effectively and that you're able to sort of like go out and enjoy your life really without worrying about your teeth. So sometimes people who are nervous and very phobic really feel that they want to come to the dentist and have their teeth seen to, but they feel that they're unable to because of that massive barrier of actually getting to the dentist because they're too scared of doing that. Um, ways to overcome that barrier may be to book an appointment and go along with a friend, take somebody to have somebody to drive you there, or maybe even phone the dental practice and explain to the receptionist and have a chat and choose a dental practice that you feel comfortable with. Communication is one of the biggest factors to overcome dental phobia. Your dental practice will not know that you're anxious or phobic until you let them and until you tell them. So if you tell them, the whole team can try and work together um, to try and help you overcome your um, uh, overcome your dental fears and your dental anxieties and help you get a better treatment for your mouth.
Lots of people do overthink the problems that they're uh, that may be in their mouth and they may build the fear up to more than it is. Sometimes if you actually go and see your dentist, there may be a simple solution to your problem um, rather than sort of um, a big barrier to sort of you having treatment. So the best thing is to go and see your dentist and actually find out what the problem is so that you can find an easy solution. We would recommend that before your visit, you avoid trying to Google things and research things online because sometimes it may give you a worst case scenario that that may not be the case for you. So rather than researching different options, it's probably best that you go along to your dentist and they can have a look at what's inside your mouth and give you a tailored plan um, that is best for you. A good oral care routine at home would help massively trying to sort of reduce your fears and actually when you get to the dentist help to re reduce any problems that there might be in your mouth. So good oral hygiene, good brushing, good flossing and a good diet will definitely keep your teeth a lot healthier so that when you actually do get to your dentist um, your appointment will be a lot more straightforward. So somebody can try and deal with their fears and help themselves by um, just trying to stay calm, take aids with them such as meditation or music, um, try and have a good night's sleep, try and have a good meal and um, try and have sort of a calming day before they go and uh, visit the dentist. Try and make your appointment in the morning so you're not worrying about going to your appointment all day so you get it over and done with um, so that you can enjoy and rest for the rest of the day. As a specially trained dentist, we treat anxieties in different ways with different people, really depending on what the person is anxious for of. So some people, they're anxious of sort of the sounds of the drills, um, so we may, may recommend that they bring headphones in. Other people are anxious of sort of like the waiting times um, because they make them, they feels that they sort of build up more, so we maybe might book them in for um, an earlier appointment so that they have to wait less and they're seen quicker, so they build, up, they build their anxieties up. Less. So it really depends on the individual person. That's why it's very important that you go and see your dentist so that they'll be able to get, make the best treatment plan for you. Ways in which your dentist may help you um, cope with your anxieties, maybe sort of to ask you to come in for an appointment first of all, and then just letting you talk about your anxieties or any fears, explain whichever situations that you have. Uh, maybe while you're having your treatment done, give you the ability to just raise your hand to stop whenever you want to. If you're really anxious sort of, um, and you want to stop sooner, then count into 10 so that you both know that the dentist is going to be looking in your mouth for 10 seconds and then taking a bit of a break and then starting again for 10 seconds. Let you get up regularly for sort of, um, sort of rinse outs or, or if you need to cough or, or anything like that. Even if you need to have any treatment done, uh, the dentist may start off with something simpler for you, like just to check up to help to build your confidence and explain the procedure to you and really give you control of what you want to do. Um, there may even be like a little buzzer or a bell um, just to let the dentist know that you know you want to take a break. So maybe book off a longer appointment time with more breaks so that um, you feel more comfortable during that procedure. Another way to deal with anxiety may be to um, break the procedure down into smaller um, appointments. For example, not do lots of treatment all in one go. Um, so it sort of break it down so that you've got several bouts of smaller appointments which are positive experiences therefore building your uh, confidence over a period of time. The dentist will tell you whichever dental issues you have, even if you may not necessarily want to know what they are. Um, it's the dentist's job to have a look inside your mouth and to tell you what is wrong with your teeth. Um, and they can explain the different um, conditions to you and they can give you different options as to what you want to do to try and rectify those so that you have a healthy mouth and um, you get rid of any dental disease or any infections that you have. It is possible to be sedated for dental treatment. For example, if you have quite advanced dental treatment or you're very nervous, you can um, be sedated either by inhalation sedation, IV sedation, or in very severe cases, general anaesthetic to have some dental work done. When you have sedation done, you are not fully asleep. You are only partially asleep. That means that you can still respond to questions. However, when you wake up, you will not remember um, any of the procedure and you will not have any of the um, anxieties that you have. So um, it's a good option for people who are very anxious. 
For people who've got a very bad dental phobia and they're really unable to go and see the dentist, there's lots of things available. You can phone your GP or ask um, for a referral for sort of therapy and help to help you get over your fear. You could even ring your dental practice and maybe ask for a virtual consultation so you have a video call or a phone call initially with some questions to see what kind of problems you may have um, and using the video to show any problems inside your mouth. So maybe start to build a relationship with your dentist in that way and gradually build yourself up to become more confident to eventually attend a dental practice and have a checkup done. Hey, it's John here. Apologies for the abrupt interruption, but I have something for you. Linked below in the video description is a simple checklist with accompanying advice. It will help you take your first steps to manage and maybe one day overcome your phobia. I know how challenging dental anxiety can be, but with consistent small steps, you can make progress. If you're ready to move forward, do click that link. Right, back to the video. We can try and help people not get in dental anxieties by um, explaining any procedures fully, giving them lots of information about what actually happens in a dental practice, making the dental practice a comfortable environment and um, giving them lots of choices about their treatment so they're never forced to do anything they don't want to and giving them lots of time to think about it as well. So whatever you decide to do is completely your choice within your own limits. It's very important to go to the dental practice or take your children to the dental practice when they're very young. Even if the adult has a checkup and you have a baby, you can bring them along so that they get used to the sounds and the smells and the dental environment. You can start to take your child to the dentist as soon as they have a tooth from anything from six months so they can have a look, so the dentist can have a look inside their mouth and also so the child can get used to the environment and sitting on the chair and the different experiences. The younger they start going to the dentist, the more normal it will be for them and um, the more familiar they will be with the dental environment, um, therefore sort of um, evading any dental anxieties in the future.